what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be checking out about four episodes of my hero academia it's been a while since i done met my hero academia but i do remember what's going on you know we've met the obnoxious the obnoxious you know what i'm saying the obnoxious man of fire with the fire beard <laughs> you know what i'm saying endeavor himself um we've met him um he real salty about being number two so he's trying to raise Todoroki as to 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 um surpass all might and also you know that conversation that Deku had with Tod Todoroki and him explaining stuff to him of this dude is you know I, I didn't even know they would have something called quirk marriages you know what I'm saying so of course the mom is going to resent you for that because you basically just married me for the quirk you know what i'm saying <laughs> you just married me for the quirk man so in turns i don't think she hates todoroki i don't think that's the reason why she threw hot water on him i think it's maybe because maybe she reminds him reminds her of his dad so much you know so basically the, i'm guessing the mom had the icy side you know what i'm saying so Basically, Todoroki don't want to give his dad the, the satisfaction of using his fire side. Because it's probably his more powerful side too. So he doesn't want to give to, um, Todoroki, doesn't want to give his dad Endeavor um, the satisfaction of Nook. So he's going to use his mom's willpower, or if you want to call it that, um, to defeat his opponents and never use his dad's side because he knows how his mom feels about him so and he respects his mom more he doesn't really like but what Todoroki gotta come around to understand if that's in my last review is that you're your own person and nothing to do with that with all of that you gotta be you gotta want to be a hero for you not a hero for your dad that's a recipe for disaster in the first place if you're trying to be a hero for somebody for, for the sake of somebody else you get what i'm saying if you know what the agenda is you don't have to go that route clear you know what i'm saying carve your own path out you know what i'm saying i talked about how this is an example of how parents kind of um push their kids into certain things that their kids don't want to do you get what i'm saying oh i gotta live vicariously through my kids no it ain't like that like there are kids that don't want to play play basketball they don't want to do this they don't want to play you know what i'm saying they don't want to play sports they may be good at it but that but maybe they have a desire to become a doctor rather than being a professional athlete you know what i'm saying so you can't push them towards the the athlete side because they're good at it yes talented but that's probably not what they want to do kids are multi-talented whatever they want to do what they choose to do i think they should be able to do that that's just my opinion anyway we're going to jump into this today we're going to be doing um i think three or four episodes We'll see where we end up, but we'll see. Okay, so I'll see you guys over there. Let's go get it, man. Let's go. All right, so here we are. Four episodes done. And I have to say I'm super excited. I like, I, I you know, you guys see me gush over this anime a lot. And it's... The, the the anime they it's like a mix of a lot of different things in this anime and that's why I, I, I like it so much is because there's like there's entertainment there's lessons the story not there yet there's they're building up to something of a story and I get it we need the background of how Deku got started how he got um one for all and all of this other stuff i get it there's story building that's going on there right now it's just you know what i'm saying excitement so the, as i said the story not so much there as in anything deep it's just more of like character backstories are really touching and stuff like that and they're using music to perfection timing is everything when it comes on to music and how you use it when you're pairing it with visuals so and they're doing an amazing job with that. So, and the animation, when they turn it up, it's it's so good. You know what I'm saying? Um, very fluid, very fluid animation. They know, kind of reminds me of Ippo. 
how Ippo was, you know, you get that fluid animation that really looks really cool. One shots, cameras moving around, moving around the, you know, the fighters, you know what I'm saying? Um, you will get those every now and then to show you that this was a very and very anticipated fight of the series so they wanted to kind of go all out with the animation there at the at the end of the fight um animation was pretty cool during the fight but they really turned it up there at the end um when when the fire kicked in and everything that they did pretty cool stuff as i said i'm a little upset at the fact that um i'm a little upset about the fact that they interrupted but they didn't call it a draw you get what I'm saying? It could have been his own ear pressure that caused him to be pushed out of the ring. So it you can't, for me, I would have called that a draw. You get what I'm saying? Um, even though Todoroki was still standing and he was not outside of the ring. he did, He's not, his quirk doesn't do, there was ear pressure. You know, but not coming from his stance with the stuff that they put up in between them to stop it. More than likely, Deku's power would more push him backwards than Todoroki's power. You you get what I'm trying to say? So, he was still standing. I get it. Somebody had to win. And it was his story, basically. You know, of him coming out and using his left for the first time. So, that was pretty cool. So, I get it, man. I get it. Totally get it. You already know that I'm a Todoroki fan. So, I'm not mad at the decision. I'm more of like, this. it should have been a draw. You know what I'm saying? Let them arm wrestle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let them arm wrestle after they recover. Um, that would be interesting. I, I definitely think that Deku would win that. But, you know, because he more has the strength to do that. Um, so... Yes, other fights, the other fights that happened, Bakugo versus Uraraka was the only other one that was super interesting. All the other ones were, like, really funny. Um, Momo, very disappointing. I I think her fight was very disappointing. Um, even though I'm a, I can't remember his name, but Dark Shadow dude really outsmarted her. Um, it takes time for her to create things, so it's, really and truly like you gotta you get what i'm saying like your your quirk is not gonna work for every situ for for a situation like that one-on-one -on -one, where somebody is solely concentrated on you it's gonna be really hard for you to create anything in if it takes a while for you to create things because first of all her mind's got to be clear she got to be focused to actually create stuff so that's another thing too you know, um, so I don't know what's going to happen next. We still have not seen Dark Shadow fight again. I think he's going up against Bakugo. I think that's who he's fighting. I think it's him versus Bakugo. I think um, that's going to happen next. Um, I don't know who Ida is going to fight, but we'll see the rest of the matches, of course. But Todoroki is through. Deku is, is out. So, as, as I said, all the other fights were pretty... They were interesting, but not, they're not, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, shameless plug, you know, she was advertising her stuff. That's cool and all, you know, but I'm really looking forward to more from this anime, man. It's real exciting. They got some really, some real moments that reminds me of my favorite, you know, anime for me of naruto those moments when you're when you're like super excited it's like what no <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm glad to be able to watch something again where i'm having those moments with the high of watching something like you know what i'm saying ippo and it's just these hype moments that you wish you could see you know what i'm saying so i'm looking forward to seeing more from this anime man that was a crazy fight loved it can't wait for more because I know the tournament is not over. Um, and Endeavor, he's just he's he, he's not a good person. He, he's just not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He may be a hero, but he's just not a good person. Like at home, you know what I'm saying? Like he's just not. He's not a good father. He's not a good husband. He's just not a good person. 
You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's one of those people. Maybe he'll come around. Maybe he'll come around. Maybe he'll grow on me. But right now, he's just not a good person in my book. Love his character design. I think it's the best character design in the story so far, in the show so far, I think. Um, in my opinion, I think it's the best. So, there's that. It's the only thing he got going for him right now. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Also, leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section. I will get you guys next time for some more My Hero later on.